my name is Andrea. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a very easy guava cheesecake. For our guava cheesecake, we're going to start with the base, cream cheese. I use two, pa two eight ounce packages of just regular cream cheese. You can choose to use um, the Nufa Shell brand, which is about third less fat as advertised. It's really up to you. Um, we're not really concerned about calories here today, so we're using the regular brand. I'm going to take my two packages of cream cheese. You want them to be about room temperature. Um, mine are still a little bit on the cold side, so I'm actually going to cut them up into smaller pieces just to make it easier to mix them together. Um, now, when you're mixing all of your ingredients together, you can actually mix them into a large bowl with a hand mixer. But today, I'm actually going to make use of this small food processor. Um, it's very easy to use and whips everything up nice and quickly. So we're going to put our first brick of delicious cream cheese in here. And we'll take out our second, and we will do the same. This is a very easy recipe. Um, once you're familiar with the recipe, it should only take about 10, 15 minutes to prepare the whole thing from start to finish. Um, so very easy to prepare. The cook time will be about um, 35, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, you'll want to preheat your oven to about 325 degrees now so that it's ready to go right when you're done mixing all your ingredients together. Get that second block in here. And the nice thing about this cheesecake is that it doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it. It's really simple. Uh, you don't have to go to the store to get anything real fancy except for the guava. Um, just a couple eggs, some sugar and some vanilla. Now we have our cream cheese in here. We're also going to want to add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can add that now. Basically everything gets mixed together all at once. Um, there's no need for two separate bowls because you don't have um, two separate types of liquids or solids like you would with uh, maybe a cake or cookies or anything like that. So that makes it even easier. We're also going to add a fourth cup of sugar. There's actually two ways you can prepare this cheesecake um, using the guava. Um, the way I'm making it now, I'm actually going to mix everything together now so that when you put the guava in, it's going to get a nice pink color to it. Um, and I'm using a little less sugar than I normally would in a cheesecake because the guava paste itself is very, very sweet. So you don't need as much sugar. And if you want to, you could probably do without the sugar completely. Um, but we want to make it tasty and we don't care about calories right now. Um, in a regular cheesecake, you could actually use this recipe exactly for any kind of cheesecake without any flavoring. Um, you might want to add a half cup sugar in that case, um, just to make it a little bit sweeter so you don't have quite as much of that cream cheese flavor. But again, it's up to your personal taste. Um, so we've added our two blocks of cream cheese, our vanilla extract, and our sugar. And now we're going to add the final ingredient for now, which is the guava paste. Now guava, if you're not familiar with it, is um, sort of a Latin fruit. It's also found in Indian and Middle Eastern countries. Um, it's very sweet, kind of a mix between a pear and a strawberry. And um, a lot of times they'll have this nice pink coloration. I'm actually using a guava paste. You can get it at the grocery store um, in the international food section. And um, it's usually made by a company called Goya. They make a lot of international foods. And it'll be in a box that looks kind of like this. So we're going to cut off about a half cup's worth of guava paste. Uh, I recommend cutting into small pieces. It'll make it a lot easier um, to process or mix if you're using a hand mixer. Um, to fill, if you don't have a half cup and you won't want to deal with the process, you're going to want to cut off about four, a four inch section of this block. So right now I've gotten, I'm sorry, a two inch section. Right now I have about an inch in here, so that's about a fourth a cup. I'm going to cut off a few more pieces, stick them in there. Looks like we need just a little bit more, maybe another half inch, and then we'll get this all mixed together. Now, keep in mind this guava paste is very, very sticky, um, but it's a really, really yummy treat. You can actually eat it as a snack, and when I'm done with the leftover guava paste, I will actually stick it in my refrigerator and break off a piece here and there when I'm feeling like a little sweet treat. Um, 
in Latin American countries, they actually do make in a lot of candies, sugar drinks, even alcoholic beverages are um, flavored with guava. So we've got everything in here except our eggs for now. So we're going to put the lid on our food processor and we're going to start mixing it together. And we want it to mix together to the point where everything is well combined and you see a nice pink color to uh, the cream cheese mix and that there aren't too many little pieces. It's okay if you have little flecks of pink, especially for now because we haven't incorporated our eggs yet. This is mixing together really nicely and it's going really smoothly, so it helps that we cut it up into little pieces. So there's another way you can actually prepare this um, cheesecake. Uh, like I said before, we're combining the guava into the cream cheese mixture. You don't want to combine it, but you still want to have that guava presence. What you can do is you can actually take this block of guava paste, cut it up into thin strips, and lay it on the bottom of your crust so it forms a layer. Uh, then you'll just make your cream cheese base, pour it on top, and bake it. When you cut into it, it'll have a nice layer of cream cheese, a nice layer of guava, and then your graham cracker crust. Um, I'm using a pre-made crust today. Uh, it's just a little bit easier, but you can make a homemade graham cracker crust really, really easily. Uh, it's just a matter of getting some graham cracker crumbs or mashing up some graham crackers in a bag and adding a melted butter, pressing into a pan, and maybe baking a little bit beforehand. Uh, but it's very easy. Um, and very satisfying as well to make it completely homemade. So we're just going to scrape the edges a little bit on this, make sure that everything is getting incorporated into our mixture. One thing I like about these food processors is that with the lid um, on it, you aren't in danger of getting cut by the blade or getting messy for that matter because hand mixers can sometimes fly things everywhere. So we've mixed together our cream cheese, our sugar, our vanilla, and our guava paste. And there's a few little specks in there for now, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we're going to incorporate our last ingredient, which is two eggs. So we're going to put these eggs in here. And we don't want to beat this together quite as much as we did with our original um, mixture. Um, you just want to mix them together until the eggs are incorporated. You overmix it, you might run into the danger of the cheesecake becoming fluffy, um, but you can probably mix it for a while and it'll be okay. So I'm going to use the pulse on my food processor so make sure I'm not mixing it together too, too much. Again, we'll scrape the sides, make sure everything is mixed in here. This cheesecake is really fun to make because it's got a really different color. It's not often you go to a restaurant or a party and you see a pink cheesecake. So it has a really nice display appeal to it and it's kind of a different flavor so you, you can impress your friends and family with your, uh, with your fruit. All right, so it looks like we are pretty well mixed in here so we're going to go ahead and Take our lid off. We're going to bring a pie crust forward. We're going to pour it in here. And if you are using the food processor, be careful that this middle blade doesn't fall out. You can also use a rubber spatula to scrape the sides, but it's pretty liquidy at this point. And get everything in here. The nice thing about cheesecakes is they don't rise too much. So if you find that you have a bit extra mixture than you are anticipating, you can go right up to that top edge and it's not going to overflow. Um, this is helpful, especially if you're going to make the cheesecake by putting that layer of uh, guava paste on the bottom and then adding your cream cheese. You'll actually keep all the same amounts, two eggs, half cup of sugar or a fourth cup, depending on how sweet you want it to be, half teaspoon vanilla, and your two packages of cream cheese. So we've got that in here. Smooth it out. Looks nice and smooth. Stick that back on 
down here. Another fun thing you can do when you're done baking the cheesecake, so you can actually take a little bit of this guava paste and you can um, melt it down and sprinkle it on or design it in swirls to make your cheesecake look that much fancier. Um, especially if you're going for the layered method, you can then add the um, pink coloring to the top of your cheesecake so it looks a little bit more fun. Um, you'd want to melt this paste down a lot in the same way you would if you were melting down chocolate in a microwave. You'll just cut it up into small pieces, um, put it into like a glass dish, maybe a Pyrex, heat it up for 10 seconds at a time, and eventually it'll melt down to a nice uh, gooey substance that you can work with a little bit. It's still very, very sticky, um, but it does add a nice uh, texture and color to your cheesecake. So. Looks like we are about ready to stick this in our oven. So we're gonna go in here. Now sometimes I put this on a cookie sheet so that I can um, better grasp it. You can do that. You really don't need to. You don't have much danger of the ingredients spilling over and it does firm up when you're done cooking it. So we're gonna go ahead, put this in our oven here. Once you've pulled your cheesecake out of the oven, you're going to want to let it cool, maybe in the refrigerator, for about three hours. Um, so you definitely want to plan ahead of time. If you're making this for a party, make it in the morning, um, or you can even make it overnight. Uh, this sits really well in the refrigerator for a couple days. You'll definitely want to refrigerate the leftovers. Uh, and it's very tasty and very pleasing. So. I hope that this recipe sounds appealing to you and uh, you find it very easy. Um, again, it's just two packaged cream cheese, half cup sugar or fourth cup sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla, half cup of guava paste, two eggs, and a pie crust. You've made yourself a guava cheesecake. Enjoy.